You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring. Garage TV HD. Hi guys, this is Manny Sanchez. Absolutely super excited today to bring you this review. This is a 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8. Totally redesigned for 2012. God, you know, this is a four-door family vehicle. That's what they want to say. And obviously it's a high-performance four-door family, but 12.8 seconds. It stops like on a dime. It's got awesome Brembo brakes, huge calipers and rotors just stops this car down. They redesigned the whole front of the car a little bit. Obviously some of the key features you're going to find always on an SRT8 is that black uh, grill that the way they did it, they made it nice and big, get a lot of air inside. They put a functional scoop or head, it's really not a scoop, it re re works in reverse order. Basically the hood is functional, it sucks the air out of the inside of the engine compartment and out through here to create some downforce on the nose. Look at this aggressive new front of this 2012 Charger. You see it coming down the road, it looks angry. It's awesome looking, but it looks angry. It tells you there's a beast here. Obviously, they incorporated some HID protection lights. Uh, in here, you'll see there's a sensor down here under here. It's called the ACC, it's Active Cruise Control. And then when you look inside, I mean, the seats are absolutely gorgeous. Real thick, it's got nice bolsters on the side, they hug you, you feel comfortable in the car. An absolute awesome dual zone air condition. And guess what? You can bring the kids. You can go out there and run around, you can bring the kids. I don't know if you really want to do that, but you can. And a huge trunk. It's a big vehicle, but it runs like a little nimble race car. Just the overall face. So look at that. Look at that front splitter that they have down there, and they incorporate it and help the downforce. Here it's coming through this grill, out the top of this hood. Went ahead and they formed to create a lot of downforce in the front of the vehicle. Can you imagine a 175 mile an hour four door sedan? This is it. Memories of love gone by. I was lost in this big sky. Deep in Look at these rims. Look at that brake caliper. That's a Brembo. We're talking about four puff, four piston Brembo that hauls this big car down to almost nothing when you're driving. It's race inspired. They feel like race brakes. I'm really curious to see what kind of pads they got in here because they feel just like what we would use on our race cars on the track. 20 inch rims, awesome design here, it creates like a, a, a turbo effect that's bringing air in and out to cool down the brakes. And what can I say, Goodyear, you know, they really hug the road. Let's go out and take it for a spin. You know, when you talk about Mopar, you talk about Dodge, you talk about Hemi, you always thought about those old big Chargers and Road Runners and, and Challengers, you know, with all those big old Hemi 426 motors producing all kind of horsepower and all that. Well, guess what? We got a Hemi in here. We have a 6.4 liter Hemi, but it's an efficient Hemi. It does, you know, 24 miles to the gallon out in the highway. You know, the old days, you got lucky if you had 10 or 12 miles to the gallon at its best day, more like six or seven. So, we got timers and we could go in here and check the motor, the performance of the motor and what kind of oil pressure and all that. We could figure out handling by G, steering inputs, as you can see how it goes, gives you degrees of that. I mean, they thought about a lot of neat stuff and I like it because it's always all, I'm kind of a techie kind of guy. But, you know, back to reality. We're gonna go out for, 
you know, their navigational system is extremely easy to use. You can go ahead and spell it out. Um, some of the other ones that I've seen before were a little not as easy to use for a first timer. Um, you'd, you'd have to learn how to use it a little bit, and then it was really good. In my case, you know, we have a couple of these vehicles, and enough that I see that big, big improvement on what they did there. Obviously, the radio is unbelievable. It's got, you know, it's got one of the best systems. I think it's like overkill. It's got like 900 watts. It's just really, really good. Remember, it's a family sedan that does 12.8 seconds in a quarter mile. A lot of the sports cars out there don't do that. So take it out for a spin. That aside, absolutely exceptional. You gotta go out, sit in them. You would not believe by looking at the outside of the car. I mean, you could look at it, and obviously you know it's, it's got some get up and go. But this car is absolutely an animal. Go out, get a chance, go out to your dealer, get in it, sit in it, take it out for a drive, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The next review, this is Manny Sanchez. You're watching Garage TV, that unexplainable passion for motoring.